Susan, so coming into the end of the first season here, and you and I talked previously, you know, about the development of Bethan as a character. Yeah. How have you found that arc to be in terms of, you know, has it been rewarding for you or are you looking for more in season two? Oh, it's been, it's both. It's rewarding and I'm looking forward to more in season two. I mean, you know, there's so many characters in our show and with such, you know, interesting life journeys to explore so it kind of you you know it's it's sort of like everybody is unfolding and mm -hmm. she's unfolding as well and I, in our first season it was really about exploring the big three and what what they were experiencing turning 36 you know what I mean and what their life changes were and so uh, that ha you know we had to sort of spend time and really be in that and that'll continue as we go and then I think in the in the seasons the next few seasons we'll get a chance to peel back some of the layers of Beth as well yeah Let's see what's going on yeah because we had a great little scene with you you know the end of the last season after William's death yeah uh, and you, know, you got that postcard from Memphis yeah right uh, uh, you know and that was a little touching moment yeah you, you got the to t talk it is funnage right if you will. yeah the, so yeah we're right seeing, we're getting more and more little tidbits the of her. funeral oh i'm sorry the fun you're right the yes. funeral that's right <laughs> it sounded fun to me right 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 yeah well you it's know so good and i'm looking forward to, just to seeing more of that cuz you know, obviously we want to get more than just the first layer and right. what can we learn about her past and where it affects absolutely. everything absolutely yeah yeah, so. yeah 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 oh uh, we're losing him mm -hmm. sorry I'll have it. Come, come jump in is that okay yeah please Dan, do you mind no oh, block this <laughs> Wait, let's take a photo right now we're sitting here I think we only have one question with you. I yeah. apologize. Yeah. So, quick question for you then. Yes. As an actor, playing a, <laughs> as an act, you go ahead. As an actor. Mm -hmm. As an actor, mm -hmm. playing, a character playing a character who's a bad actor. Who's a mm -hmm. bad actor. Mm -hmm. Has that been a good journey that been for a you? Good journey for knowing you, that like, we knowing saw that you could surprise people at the end with your, you your play. Surprise people or at the end with your play. Has that been something you found interesting? Has that been something you found interesting? What? Development, uh, right? No. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I. I actually never thought of that when I took the role. I wasn't like thinking, "Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm an actor playing an actor." He's not a bad actor, though. Is the thing. He's. We find out that he's not. He's just. He was in a wrong place, and so I think if you're, if you're great at whatever it is that you're great at, and you're in the wrong position, it's you're frustrating. Gonna, it's frustrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once you find your little place, I think you can. You know, you blossom. So it's like you know what it's like. It's like putting a beautiful red rose bush, long stem rose bush in the shade. And then being like, what's the deal? This plant's ugly. It's not ugly. It needs sun. Yeah. And I just compared myself to a red rose. And, and you beautiful. needed some sun. And I needed some sun. Yeah. Uh, what are we going to see with you and Sophie in season two? We will find out. I think, uh, you know, hopefully he'll get what he wants. I, but the problem is he wants her, which I think he deserves her. I really do. He's changed quite a bit. And he also wants this opportunity, this wonderful opportunity with Ron Howard. So... Something's got to give, Ooh, and um. Ooh, that's a tough one. Ron I Howard, I mean. Sorry, see you later. R oh, really? Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Would you? you right. like, I, didn't say, I didn't say to who. Wait, Ron, Ron Howard, see you later, or, or, or Sophie, Sophie, see you later. later? I guess we'll see. We knew what you it meant. It felt Ron I, Howard. I, I you don't turn Ron guess. Howard down. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody turns Ron Howard. No. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. You. All, right. All right. As we were saying, uh -huh. we're looking forward to more development with Beth. What is something maybe you're hoping to see with her? Um, I'm hoping to see who she is outside of her at uh, being a wife and a mom. You know what I mean? Like what her aspirations were and are and what she wants to pursue in life. You know what I mean? What, what, what adds to her fulfillment, you know? So I feel like that's going to be something really interesting to explore. Yeah. And then also the rumor around town mm -hmm. is that William is coming back for season two some. Mm -hmm. Will we hopefully get to see uh, maybe some blue Hawaiian involved and a little bit, a little bit of fun with, with well, you two? That's the rumor? Okay. Um, I'm well, just, I'm just asking, throwing if, blue Hawaiian. If he comes back, I'll be happy to have a blue Hawaiian and not the kind you drink. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll make that happen, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, what, what more do we need to say than that? What more do we need to say? Anything that ends on blue Hawaiian, that's the way you end it. Susan, best of luck for season two. Thank and three. you. Thank Good to you. See you. Thank Hopefully, you, I'll friend. see you at the next carpet. All right.